two, one. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another exciting film journey here on Delusions of Grandeur. I am one of your hosts. But uh, today uh, we are going on about a film that was chosen by our good friend uh, Boris here. Um, Boris, uh, why don't Hello. you tell us a little bit about the film that you decided to choose for us to watch this week? <laughs> Oh yeah, the movie I chose for this week was a Japanese horror movie named The Tomie from 1998, uh, directed by Ataru Ikawa, written by Junji Ito and Ataru Ikawa, and starring uh, Miho Kano, Mami Nakamura, and Yoriko Noguchi. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I chose this movie because uh, many people who know Japanese horror even better than I do, I am usually a nerd for the Ring franchise, but uh, not for this one. Uh, but everyone said I would love this movie because it deals with a female demon and the revenge and stuff like that, which usually are things I enjoy in horror movies. But uh, I have to say this movie, or at least this uh, first installment in the franchise, wasn't uh, quite what I expected. Uh, but, okay, let's see what IMDb actually says about it. Uh, I have already read the director, writers, and uh, the main actors. And uh, what does the synopsis say? Uh, a traumatized young woman is trying to recover her memories with the help of a psychiatrist. During her hypnosis sessions, uh, she repeats the name Tommy. Oh, hypnosis but... is hypnotherapy. Uh, sorry, what? It's not hypnosis, it's hypnotherapy. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. hypnotherapy. Uh, yeah, although... Uh, although, to be honest, I don't really know the difference, but okay, I guess but there is no, some. There is no difference. I wrote that down because it was so fucking stupid. <laughs> uh, yeah, so she repeats the name Tomie, but she is unable to recall where she knows it from. So... Is this the first time you guys watched this movie and what were your first impressions? Uh, let's well, uh, start with well, uh, Dave. You go first. Me? Oh, uh, me? Uh, well, uh, this, was, this was my first time. Um, I've had the five film collection that I, I thought that was all there was, but uh, but I learned today that there are actually nine in this franchise so far. Uh, although the last one, uh, film was uh, filmed in 2011, uh, and I did find it kind of surprising that uh, that this director is actually in uh, uh, a director of uh, uh, a later. Uh, known anime called uh, uh, called When They Cry, um, uh, which uh, is one of my favorite anime uh, series, uh, Higurashi. Uh, so, oh, I I somewhat know that one. I started to watch it a while ago, but uh, I. I guess I got busy with something and didn't finish it, and later I forgot. <laughs> but yeah, um, I like his work. This one was rather slow. Um, do I like it in the end? I like the concept of a uh, like circle of life demon uh, uh, that keeps coming back and killing and it, it's kind of like a circle jerk of life in a sense uh just a, a demon just demon girl that just won't it won't die you know uh <laughs> um i do like the concept 
do I like the execution? Not so much. I mean, <laughs> it is kind of a weird, discombobulated story. I mean, you you've got the uh, you got the girl with the boyfriend, and she's gone to this like you know therapist uh, therapist um, because she can't sleep. She doesn't remember anything. You know all that jazz and. I don't know. Uh, it just seems like it was a first effort at something, and uh, it, it, it 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 reminds me of a high school student's project. You know what right. I mean? No better job. Um, <laughs> yes, I agree, but there are some creepy elements to it, like the, the dismemberments and. All that jazz. I like that aspect of it, uh, and the way some of the decapitated corpses move. That I like. But other than that, uh, I mean, it is what is. Um, it, 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 it. I guess it's. Uh, it, it's based on a manga. Never read the manga, um, and uh, whatnot, but. It evidently spawned nine films, uh, 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 from, uh, uh, you know, afterward. Well, eight other films afterwards. So evidently, you know, people became obsessed with the subject matter. Whether or not it was executed better in the later films, I do not know. Um, I, liked it. I, I liked it and enjoyed it somewhat. So I'm done. <laughs> did, yeah, you wanna, okay. did you want to go ahead, girl? Oh, yeah, you can. I watched it. It sucked. It was over. <laughs> I'm not going to be watching the other eight movies or another, another movie. How fun as you guys do? I mean, the premise sounds really fucking awesome. The execution, F minus, 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 minus. Uh. <laughs> There's one scene when she, like, kind of explodes before she explodes. Um, that was okay, I guess, but, and I guess with her, the way she, like, came back to life, the last scene, or, you know, the, before she got blown, um, that scene was kind of cool, but, yeah. But that's why I said my favorite scene, too, because <laughs> not much else to say. <laughs> Okay. Oh, makes sense. Uh, what the... <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, Go is ahead. that it, or do you have anything to add for your first impression? Scroll. No. Okay, then uh, let's hear you, Tammy. Well, <clears throat> normally I'm not really into, you know, reading movies, you know. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, I guess the weirdest thing on this whole movie was that David was teasing me afterwards that I must have been interested in it because I didn't actually fall asleep. <laughs> I watched the whole thing. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, for I don't know what it was, something about it. I, it, it did keep my interest. Yeah, it was a little slow, but you know, I was, I was trying to get the, you know, get the whole thing that was going on, the whole plot, the whole picture, and everything. So, I, I think that's why I was, you know, so interested. You know, even if like David would say something or whatever, it'd be like shop. I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. 
So yeah, I, I I don't know what it was about it, but it did keep my interest, and um, yeah, I actually didn't mind it. So in a way, please don't take this totally literally, David. But in yeah. a way, I may be interested in other ones. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> I got. I was more interested in it than I thought I was gonna be, and I'm sure David will agree that I was more interested in it than he thought that he thought I would be. So, yeah. Right, David? So. Yeah, actually, I didn't expect you would get uh, uh, that th this movie would uh, uh, draw your interest and uh, keep. Uh, keep your attention throughout the whole thing being uh, the way it turned out to be but I, didn't think you'd watch it. <laughs> I don't know what it was it was just something about it so you know <laughs> interesting I don't, any, I don't have anything at this moment i really don't have anything negative to say about it except for i mean i wish you didn't have to read it but i mean other than that it did keep my interest and you know I, I it was interesting concept and it it makes it makes you wonder is it you know it is it is she got like a split is is it the girl that she's got like a split personality and she is so many or is there an actual person that is or you know it, it's kind of confusing but that's what keeps it interesting you know? <laughs> nice way of thinking. So, okay. Uh, and what about you, Mars? In my case, yes, it was the first time I watched this movie, and I, unfortunately, I have to say, if it was not my first time, then I probably wouldn't have picked it for this discussion. <laughs> I uh, I was told about this movie a while ago by some people from some uh, uh, anime community I was a member of online, and they said, like I said, uh, if I if I like movies about female demons, about revenge and stuff like that, and especially if I also like Japanese horror, which uh, I generally do somewhat like, uh, that uh, th this franchise would be uh, perfect for me, that I would enjoy it. So after all this time, I finally wanted to give it a try. But uh, yeah, this movie was, I must say, difficult to watch, especially I, uh, uh, I was somewhat struggling to uh, pick up on the characters on who is who, how, what they all have to do with each other, because at the beginning it just keeps introducing more and more characters and you have no idea what they have to do with each other. And uh, I also had moments when I wasn't sure if uh, this and that face has already appeared before or if uh, they're appearing now for the first time. So it uh, okay. That's generally an issue I have when I watch a movie for the first time. Uh, so uh, yeah, it was uh, the plot line was very difficult for me to follow, and uh, yeah, it wasn't uh, quite what I expected. Although from what I heard. Uh, from what other people say, this movie is apparently better understood and better appreciated by those who have prior knowledge on the manga the movie series was based on. And since I have not read the manga, uh, uh, this unfortunately wasn't, uh, it, it didn't really keep my attention as much as it did yours, Tammy. The story was difficult to follow and to pick up what is happening. Uh, although, yeah, the the concept definitely does sound interesting, and I may eventually watch the rest rest of the franchise. But uh, I will not be bothering you guys with it. 
Um, and uh, as far as Tomia herself goes, I must say, if she is supposed to be some fatal woman that everyone falls in love with as soon as they see her, then uh, maybe they should have picked a better looking actress. Uh, I thought the doctor actually was pretty. Mm, yeah, yeah, she wasn't bad. Out of all the, the females that were in it, you know, I thought, you know, because the concept is that she's supposed to be so pretty that everybody just falls for it. It's like, if you were going on pretty, to me, the prettiest one was the doctor. Yeah, it was not pretty. It definitely could have killed someone. I would think the same thing as you. <laughs> <laughs> well, they kept not showing her face um, a, a lot during the th thing. So I wonder if the director w was afraid of showing her face right, right away. Uh, to uh, because maybe she wa uh, wasn't as pretty as he would have liked, you know. So I don't know, but uh, uh, that whew. one thing. Interesting thought. I assume that her face wa wasn't appearing because they wanted it to be mysterious, but then all of a sudden it appeared and it looked like. Uh, normal human face uh, not uh, any big reveal or anything <laughs> well um, so nothing, nothing amazing that, that i wanted to like be driven mad because of it <laughs> no <laughs> yeah i agree and if you really want me to be driven mad because of something i want to see some tits and some ass i mean that 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 that, uh, that would be part of <laughs> driven madness uh, th that would involve me, me like killing for some son of a bitch demon that, uh, th that wanted like to take over my life or some shit you know I want to see some tail that's, uh, that's what I want to see but uh, <laughs> what do you say about that Tammy well, doesn't bother me I just hope that they there's a guy in it I get to see something <laughs> no, I mean, what do you say about what Dave is saying? What drives him mad? Well, it would be partial to, uh, to what would drive me uh, uh, drive me mad. Now, it wouldn't be just tits and ass and tail. You, you know, it, it, it would be like sex would have to be involved. You know, I, I mean, that, that that is a given. <laughs> well, there were but, some special moments in it. There were some, but it it, it suggested the uh, the idea of sex involved. It, it didn't show the uh, the idea of sex, and I think if he was able to show it a little bit uh, more, and we, uh, we, we'd have seen a little bit more fucking and wilding. I mean, that, that would be uh, another thing, right, bro? <laughs> I mean, would you have wanted to see a little bit more TNA in here? The tea we saw was the only best thing in the movie. <laughs> Interesting. What about you, uh, 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 Boris? Um, we haven't even gotten into the uh, the full plot yet. So, uh, uh, yeah. So, oh. Uh, the plot on Wikipedia, oh, okay, so it says, uh, yeah, at the beginning, uh, there is a police investigation of a murder of a high school girl named Tomie Kawakami. Uh, and, uh, yeah, the police learned that uh, in the months following the crime, uh, Nine students and one teacher have either committed suicide or gone insane. Uh, 
and we also get to know this girl named Tsukiko who is visiting a psychiatrist uh, or in this case her uh, hypnotherapist if that's how you say that in English Hypno yeah hypnotherapist who yeah so Tsukiko is uh, apparently suffering from amnesia because as far as we uh, here in the beginning she she was in an accident that left her with amnesia and uh, she uh, she is taking these uh, hypnotherapy sessions uh, in an attempt to recover her memory and during those uh, sessions she mentions the name Tomie which the this uh, doctor uh, registers but Tsukiko cannot remember who it is uh, so uh, what do you all think of this beginning Well, um, the the whole detective uh, thing was kind of weird be, uh, be, because uh, I don't think the hypnotherapist he even like reaches out to him. He just shows up. He just shows up and, and starts telling her like about the, uh, the history of Tomei. And she's like, I don't really give a shit uh, kind of an attitude. Uh, 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 if you noticed, he, he just kind of shows up. He, he's, he's a creep boy right off. You know, he's he's trying to be a little creepy. Oh, um, the de the detective. Well, yeah, he, he comes off as kind of a creep. You know, he he's obsessed with the case, and he his interest in the whole th uh, thing is he doesn't even want to solve it. He wants to fucking meet her ass. He wants to meet Tomei. You know, that <laughs> is all that his interest is in the whole th thing, and he. He involves himself in the hypnotherapy uh, 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 and introduces himself to, uh, to the uh, uh, hypnotherapist uh, right off the bat. In fact, her whole demeanor is uh, like, why are you even here? Why are you even tell me, uh, telling me this shit? You know? Well, I got it that she wasn't a whole lot because, number one, um, she doesn't need to disclose who she's having therapy with. She's a therapist. You know? She doesn't have to tell him a damn thing or who she's seeing. So, I took, I took it as she was just letting him ramble and taking and thinking about everything he was saying as something that she could think about in the next therapy session. You know? But not letting him know this. You know what I mean? Because it's really not any of his business. Because technically, she doesn't have to tell him a thing, you know. So <laughs> I thought I was thinking of it as she was just taking in what he was saying, and but being like being a brush off to him, but still taking in what he was saying. Oh well, yeah, because uh, what he was starting to talk about was having uh, definitely a relation to her. Her current status of figuring everything out, because while she she had her patient under hypnosis, she was starting to mention certain people and certain names, but still not remembering any of it afterwards. So she wrote down the name Tome, Tanabi, and uh, there was something else that that she wrote down too. But, uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Tanabe was supposedly a, a boyfriend she had, who, from what I understood, got involved with Tommy, and then, uh, then what even happened? Uh, apparently, he was the one who killed Tommy at that particular time, right? But uh, we didn't we didn't find that out right away. Um, oh yeah. It was something that we we had to piece together from the information that the detective had, and uh, some of the other uh, uh, stuff that was going on. That we eventually found out that uh, Tanabe was this ex-boyfriend that uh, that 
had evidently like broken off things with her after the uh, the incident, and her mom uh, uh, squirreled her away to uh, a different school. In fact, uh, the detective mentioned a, a, a photo that brought a, brought out a photo of, of like the entire class or whatnot, and a lot of them like transferred to different schools, but the, the, uh, they, I guess some of the students kept showing up dead. Um, and there, uh, another thing that was also going on is that, uh, that underneath to, uh, uh, the apartment that, because supposedly uh, the girl, um, the main girl that, that was having trouble sleeping, she was li uh, she was spending holiday, I think, with her boyfriend in his apartment. Um, if I remember correctly, um, uh, yeah, there was something like that. Uh, like I said, I was struggling to memorize the faces. Yeah, because uh, she mentioned uh, the girl. Uh, she mentioned th uh, that uh, she moved out from her. Her, her family's home, home be, be, because she couldn't stay there. She had to figure this out. So, uh, so he had a piece of what I think was Tomei that he was feeding um, uh, later on which eventually became Tomei which uh, reading up a little bit on the Tomei franchise evidently uh, every cell in Tomei's body has the, the ability to regenerate. So if, it, if, it, if it's a head here or a hand here, if, if something separated from the body, it would grow into, into a copy of Tomei. <laughs> Which is an interesting concept. I do like that concept of regenerating yeah. uh, a, a thing. No matter what, uh, what separated from Tomei's body, it would turn into a copy of it. So may. Uh, yeah, although I supposedly that happens only if she dies. Otherwise, there would be uh, a whole uh, army of her, of her clones. True. But um, <laughs> I thought it was kind of interesting that that. Uh, uh, even though the landlord was saying, "Oh, this boy keeps to himself. He's uh, he's no tr uh, trouble. Watch out for all the uh, all uh, all the strangers out uh, out out there. Kids are weird, uh, you know. At, at first, the landlord, and yet he's kind of a weirdo himself. So, and I think this same landlord is actually um, the owner of that restaurant." <laughs> Uh, possibly. And uh, why exactly was the landlord a weirdo? I kind of forgot. Because he stood there staring at her, like, before she went in. Ah. Uh, and also, that same landlord uh, tried to kill her later on. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that was him. Damn. Well... That's why I think he was also the uh, the restaurant owner because uh, because it was the same guy uh, guy a guy going in and uh, uh, ranting at the uh, his employees. Oh yeah, true. So, but yeah, uh, evidently the the main girl. What's her name? Is, is, what is uh, the main girl's name? Tsukiko. Tsukiko. <laughs> so Sakiku, um, she is her boyfriend, her current boyfriend. Um, it, I believe in the very beginning he is uh, making her a dinner, 
and uh, she's she wants to become a photographer, I believe, throughout the whole thing. Right? Uh, I I think so. Yeah. From what but I understood, the boyfriend, the boyfriend works as a busboy in a restaurant with two other perverted dudes. <laughs> Uh, and I believe there's one of the waitresses that, that ends up calling him little boy like several times, who, uh, who I think ends up a victim. Uh, I, yeah, I think so. Yeah, but, uh, but, uh, I know that I, I wasn't entire, entirely a fan of the uh, of the girl just calling him little boy and and the the other uh, guy that worked with him called him a little boy and uh, told him to not make a, a whole lot of noise doing the dishes. Uh, e even though you know when you do dishes uh, dishes in that small like area of space, how can you not make noise? So his coworkers <laughs> were being jerks. Well, true. Did anyone else have any thoughts on the uh, the, the co-workers and the restaurant and, and, the, and the landowner and the, uh, and, uh, the owner of the restaurant or whatnot? Tammy, what did you think about that aspect of the, the situation going on? I thought that the chick little Matt was just like really a call for, you know? You know, first she slams down the damn dishes, and then, then when he makes noise, then she calls him names. Like, really? You're the one that slammed the dishes down first. You know? So, as far as the landlord, yeah, I thought he was kind of creepy. Even at first? Uh, when he was going down the stairs? Yeah. Well, and then, and I think the landlord is the same uh, same dude as the owner of the restaurant. What do you think? I think it might be. He looked like him. You know. Well, yeah, because they, they looked fairly uh, fairly similar. Right. You know. You know. You see the scene when the guy when the kids trying to do the dish. The guys trying to do the dishes. And this guy comes in, and this other guy comes in, and it's like. Okay, I guess they're all workers. Okay, you know, you don't really see much of who is who until um, later on when the when um, the mate gets the job. You know. Well, yeah, uh, to uh, Tomei uh, does ultimately get the job, but that's after that uh, one waitress ends up right. being found out. Like, That's what, uh, I think you don't really get to see the owner or anything until all of that. So, but oh yeah, um, so um, what do we th uh, think about the kid that it seems to be uh, taking care of Tome? He kind of reminds. Uh, he's kind of like not in control of, you know, everything. He, he seems to be more of a servant and serving her than anything else. And once she's done with him, she tells him to kill himself. Uh, uh, he's the one patch on his eye. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, it's, uh, uh, it's a character for her to dominate someone like that, I guess. Uh, but I kind of didn't catch up on what uh, happened with his eye. Did she do that, that to him? And uh, how? When? I have a feeling that somewhere in the past, she might have been. Um, she might have been the one to give him that bad eye. Um, it wasn't really said that. She did it, but uh, but you know, eventually well, he showed well, up. Later on, it's yeah, it's insinuated though because 
he went mad and did it to himself. So it's insinuated that she might have had something to do with it, that she drove him mad. You know? Yeah. We just don't, we just don't know that at this point. But. And she obviously needed the guy, a guy to get close to Suzuki. Um, because, it, you know, uh, Dude. she needed so to Tsukiko, you will. Yeah, Suziko. Yeah. Uh, she she needed to uh, to have a dude move in underneath, uh, like where her boyfriend and her were st staying, so that she could get close to him. You know. Uh, yes. Yes. So, other than that. Uh, I think there is, okay, so the detective is investigating the murders as they happen. I, I'm not even sure if he's a detective. Is he a de detective? Is it, I don't think he's, I'm trying to, uh, uh, to understand because if he was, he does seem to be allowed to go to all the crime scenes. But is he, in fact, the lead detective? <laughs> he seems like he just randomly walks in on the crime scenes. Well, he was calling himself a detective from what I remember. Okay, so he, he might just be an obsessed detect, uh, detective. And, he's, uh, and technically, he's supposed to be solving the crime. But his main goal is, in fact, to meet her, and um, ultimately he does not get to. In fact, he's uh, uh, towards the end ends up be, uh, being like, "Damn it, I missed you again." <laughs> yeah, I wonder if he appears in other movies. Ah, uh, it would be interesting to figure the, that out, but. Um, so we, where are we? Um, Ooh, it's difficult to figure out, huh? A little bit, uh, but, uh, okay, uh, let's go back to the restaurant. So we have, we have two other employees, well, three in the very beginning and, and a restaurant owner. Um, and after the little boy is seen shortly after that the the uh, the waitress that was there originally is found murdered and our detective character is uh, actually goes out to the scene sees it um and while he, uh, when when he told all uh, his uh, stories to the hypnotist he says it goes back even, uh, uh, the story of Tomei actually goes back even further than the incident in which he actually uh, m uh, mentioned. It goes back to so uh, something earlier than that, uh, the earliest mention of Tomei. Because there are various, like, um, situations that Tomei has uh, been brought up, um, at least in his line of work. And it's always that, that that she comes back, you know, and and I think he knows that uh, she is not human, you know. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, I think I'm not sure if it was mentioned in the movie or if I read it somewhere while trying to Google about this movie to figure out what was happening. I think the first uh, case of Tommy happened at some point in uh, in the 19th century if I remember correctly that that that's what the lore of the franchise says yeah and uh, Tommy at least in the uh, the student aspect of uh, of uh, things, she was there as an exchange student, and as we learn through the film, 
um, she um, evidently latches herself on to Suzuki uh, and uh, thinks that she is her friend when in fact I think it was the other way around. Um, uh, she, she was probably just nice to her but then realized she was just this weirdo and st and I think uh, I think Suzuki at the time um, actually spread all those de uh, demon girl photos around and uh, to kind of like be mean at the school so it was almost like peer pressure bullying that uh, that she was d uh, doing at the time but uh, but I think uh, Tomei actually like found out that, that her boyfriend was actually cheating on her at the time and uh, made him go mad and he killed her. And that's what she all saw, uh, Suzuki. Um, and that's what she doesn't remember. Well, we also learned that her current boyfriend actually is cheating on her. Uh, 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 towards the end here <laughs> uh, with a curly hair, hair uh, girl which um, is another thing and I don't even know what happened to the hypnotherapist um, did she get killed? <laughs> I kind of wonder too because uh, I think her boyfriend actually killed her, um, uh, Sayagi, or whatever his name was. Uh, Sa Saiga. I think they said Saiga. Uh, okay. That's uh, that's actually another thing that confused me. Like uh, before that scene uh, in the hospital with uh, Tsukiko being tied to a bed and Tomie talking to her, and the boyfriend was there. Before that, there was this moment where uh, this uh, they said that everyone at the restaurant uh, murdered each other, and that boyfriend was, uh, I think he was listed among the people who were, were supposedly murdered. So how was he still alive in this uh, scene later uh, in the hospital? I have no idea. Um... It's like it was going in between realities, uh, almost, uh, didn't it? A little bit. It's like it, it took you. And um, I do think Suzuki, um, when she went into that first floor apartment, uh, that's when the neighbor uh, uh, kind of went off on her and tried to drown her. That's when she started to remember things. And then <clears throat> that's when it gets a little confusing. Because after it looked like she was starting to remember things, then it seemed like they were, uh, 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 they, they took all those memories that she was trying to remember and tried to pass it off as like she was under hypnosis by, uh, by her hypnotherapist at the time and uh, relating something that had actually happened in her mind. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, and uh, that's another confusing thing if that uh, landlord or neighbor or whoever it was that tried to <laughs> drown her, uh, she supposedly passed out in water. So how did she survive that? Uh, well, yeah, because in the next moment she was tied uh, the, to that bed, uh, bed with her neck like in some kind of like noose looking thing. Um, and she was talking to the hypnotherapist, and then suddenly the hypnotherapist wasn't there. It was Tomei, you know? Well, oh, Tammy, what, do you, what did you think yeah. about that part? Do you think that she was just under her hypnosis, or uh, the whole time? Or do you th think that she just woke up in the hospital? Well, I don't think she was under hypnosis. I don't know. I'm not sure how she got to the hospital because, you know, it looked like dude killed her. And then the next thing we know, she's in the hospital, you know? 
Well, yeah, which made me think that uh, that uh, that now that her hypnotist is is in front of her, that all that had been rela uh, relayed to us visually was, uh, you know, part of her hypnosis. You know. Well, her hypnotist <laughs> said too. She asked where she was, and she said, and Tomei said that she took care of her. Remember? Yeah. And we see a picture of her head down, like on a desk, and you can see blood. You know. So, oh, so uh, so the therapist got killed. Yes. Yeah, the oh. therapist got killed, but she was sitting up in front of her when she first woke up. That's well, it. to her, it looked like she was. I think. When she first woke up, I think Tomei made it seem like she was there. Made her see things, you know? Uh, probably, yeah. Okay, that, that makes a little bit more sense. Because that, that's where it kind of got a little screwy for me. I can understand why you thought uh, thought a lot of things were going on in, the, in there that it, it didn't. Uh, 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 or or whatnot, uh, Boris. Uh, but um, after that, then we get uh, get the, uh, the whole psychotic incident with uh, Saiga, where he just uh, uh, ends up like looking like he's brainwashed, uh, sitting up against like the wall, and, um, and then eventually we see him hack uh, Tomei to pieces. And then, uh, uh, and then we hear, I think we hear sirens. Uh, and we uh, see that Suzuki, uh, Suzuki uh, has actually dra uh, uh, taken the body, dragged it outside, and was going to dispose of it. But, uh, but uh, once she uh, tried to dispose of it, it began to rise up and move towards her and that's when she ran down near the docks which i wonder it, 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 see that transition it, it went from day uh, from night to day like really fast oh yeah yeah that that was yet another confusing moment to me at least like um it was Fully the dead of night, like uh, uh, when the body rose up. Uh, when she was running by, uh, down by the docks, then it was like full ass daylight, and that's where it kind of got confusing. Like to me, if they would have just done another like shooting at night, it might have looked a little better, you know. But uh, but uh, yeah, when it was suddenly daylight, I thought we were watching something like. A flashback of some uh, confrontation between the two in the past, or something like that. But then apparently it was the present moment, so I was like, "What is going on here?" Well, and then, and then uh, when uh, Tomei sa sa said, y "You do realize that you are me, right?" Uh, and that's when I thought, "Okay, oh uh, well." She's not just a demon. Maybe she's like a multiple personality type thing. And I think uh, Tammy was thinking the same thing. Like, what, what did you think? What did you think, girl? I was thinking, what the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> well, yeah, I, I was too, which is why I think it was kind of like a Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde type thing towards the end. Like, like Tomei was actually a, 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 like part of her, and maybe she was in fact the killer, or I don't know. I I didn't know what to think because I didn't know what Tomei was. I I feel like she's a regenerating demon that they didn't know what the fuck to do uh, do with that. The, the franchise. I feel like this one is kind of discombobulated uh, b uh, because they made you think that this demon was, in fact, only in her mind. Y you know, you know what I mean. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, that was kind or, of implied, which like, uh, or uh, which the is, demon was her to begin with. Uh, yeah, they were implying that, which I think is strange, since that's uh, not what uh, uh, what uh, what generally. Up Yeah, so I, I I I don't know whether the director himself really knew, knew uh, what he was filming at the time. Um, I think he <laughs> I think he got confused towards the end, almost, and just <laughs> left it like that to to make it look like weird and kooky, and um, I, I guess it kind uh, kind of fooled a lot of the Japanese people into thinking or um, that it was some artistic thing. Um, but ta uh, Tammy, what did you think? What, uh, what, what did you think was going on there towards the end? You, as far as what part? Uh, when she was down by the docks and uh, 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 yeah, I wasn't that sure part. What, I wasn't sure what she was doing. I mean, you go from her pulling the body out of the car and, the, and then the body getting reanimated and then the next thing you know, she's down on the docks and you know, and then Kame shows up and it's you know, she's telling her that she is her, and it's like, okay, but she's physically doing stuff to you, so how can she be, yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> so it's really making you wonder if, if there is two, like I said earlier, if there is both, or if Tomei really is in her head, or what. Well, yeah, yeah. It, 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 it clarify wanted. whether she is an actual demon or whether she is just a figment of the imagination. Right? Yeah. Which I think is what is wrong with this movie. It doesn't clarify what this thing is. It leaves it up to the viewer Okay, you can choose whether you want it to be a demon or you can choose that it can be a figment of your imagination and hers. Uh, here you go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we, we have a film in the can. Uh, move on. Yeah, no, I want... <laughs> Now I wonder if the rest of the movies were directed by the same... There is oh. one. There is one more uh, called uh, Tome the uh, Tome Revenge, which is directed by, uh, by the same director, but it's not until way later. Um, I believe that there are. Let's see here. Oh yes, I'm just looking it up now. Apparently, some of the movies in the franchise were directed by Takashi Shimizu, who is otherwise the man behind the Grand franchise, or better known in Japanese as Juon, which yep. uh, which is a classic of Japanese horror. So yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five in between. Uh, in between the next film uh, in the franchise that, that this director uh, directs in 2005, he directed one called Tommy Revenge, which right now I'm downloading. So, <laughs> uh, but uh, in any case, um. I, I believe we're at the, uh, the, uh, the production stage, though, here. So, uh, Crow, why don't we get your production ideas out of the way? What did you think about production? 
Okay. I think that's uh, pretty much uh, spells it for you. All right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Regenerated and came back to life was kind of cool. Um, there was a couple of spots here and there that were all right, but the rest of it was kind of immature. And, you know, that's so great. Definitely felt like a B movie. Okay. A BB movie. Uh, what about you, Tammy? Tammy, what, what were your thoughts on production? I, I thought it wasn't too bad. I mean, there really wasn't a whole lot to do for it. it was it, There were some points of, I guess you want to say gore, but a lot of it was um, in your mind, you know? A lot of the movie was that way, you know? You didn't... You didn't, you know, like the that detective says that um, when he got on the case that Tomei was cut up in pieces. Well, we don't see her cut up in pieces, you know. But he says that she was cut up in pieces and still came back, you know. So, and yeah, the boyfriend does t the, now the this current boyfriend, you know, um, cuts Tomei's head off, you know. So you do you see it and you don't, you know, there's the production on this is a lot more I think in the mind than anything. So I think that was I think it was interesting because I think all of us are still wondering is was this was this part of her? Is or is there actually a a Tomei, you know? So Well yeah. I don't think the director knew what he wanted it to be. And I think it could, it could have been one of two things in your mind or a real demon. And I think that uh, the, uh, that is one thing that it did not have good going for, for it. As far as production goes, there really wasn't a whole lot to, uh, to it. I, I mean, there were some flashbacks uh, of of gore, and then there was some actual gore and some actual reanimation. Like I thought, I thought it was cool when, when the headless uh, gr a girl ro rose up and moved or or whatnot in whatever form or whatnot. And I thought the when the head got cut uh, uh, cut off. You know, that uh, the, uh, I didn't mind the detective relaying his stories. Like that part was uh, 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 was a, a nice thing to it. I thought that the detective relaying the history of Tomei uh, was an interesting backstory. You know, uh, I thought. The, he, did, he did a decent job of setting up the atmosphere a little bit. Um, but other than that, it was a very slow film. Um, and I thought that it was interesting, but I don't think that it was executed as well as it should be so that is i'm like in in between like liking the film and disliking it just for the fa uh, fact that can't you just decide what it is what this creature is give us a little bit of, of what the fuck it is you know <laughs> I mean, there's other people that do that, but they do it in such a way that it's it's riveting and it's and it's good storytelling, and it just makes you wonder which way it is. Where this is just like, what the fuck is it? You know, it's it doesn't it doesn't really it didn't build up enough suspense or or, or care for me to really care what it was. Uh, you know, just like okay, what the fuck was it? You know, kind of thing. Whereas some movies build that up and 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 you can take it one or two ways you know i've seen good movies that are like that and you know they're good movies but um this director just yeah like you said it just seemed like he didn't have he had a lack of focus 
on what he wanted to do and just kind of left that way to be ambiguous but you know it just left people not giving a shit more than anything in my opinion <laughs> well as far as i understood the franchise as a whole does provide a definitive answer to what toby is but this movie as a standalone kind of doesn't it doesn't really give it a very good start uh to me i i i do like the detective as his story behind everything but is it uh, enough of a build-up for it no i don't think so uh, 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 i think so what about you tammy um what did you uh, 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 or actually we uh, we did go with you as far as production goes um what about you uh boris what did you think about production uh, I thought it uh, could have been much better than it was. Uh, from uh, what I heard, uh, the manga is uh, a lot more graphic and contains much more gore and brutality and things like that. Uh, this movie kind of lacked some of that. Yeah, there was some gore, but it uh, felt very minimalistic. There were many places where it uh, uh, it was kind of calling for it and it wasn't there uh, and uh, yeah generally uh, the the movie felt somewhat low budget although i don't know okay i have seen some japanese movies of that time like the ring franchise uh, which i think was done much better than this so, yeah, I think the production could have been much better. Okay. Um, as far as music goes, did anyone notice any of the music? Ooh. <laughs> Nothing that would really come to my mind right now, but uh, what about the rest of you? Did you notice any of the music? I didn't really notice music. Sorry. Huh? Uh, I think Tammy says she didn't notice any music uh, did did i hear you correctly tammy yeah you heard me correctly i i i didn't really i guess pay attention to the music <laughs> uh, you have to read it you couldn't really pay attention to the music yep <laughs> uh i'm sorry well the music is done by two different people hiroshi futami and Toshiro Kimura. Uh, let's see. Uh, and uh, the first guy, Hiroshi Mutami, uh, composed stuff. Oh, he he was the composer be uh, behind Tokyo Zombie, uh, which is a, a very interesting horror comedy. Uh, from Japan. Huh. Uh, I like it. Um, but uh, let's see. He was a composer behind The Boy Made in Japan before this in 1995. The other guy, let's see. <laughs> Toshira Kimura. He, he is only known for Tommy, so um, I guess he didn't really do much before or after. He, he, I guess he is just mentioned, so I don't know what to say about that. But uh, let's go into favorite scenes and our favorite characters. Uh, Ron, did you have any favorite scenes or characters? No, all that. Well, I got. Well, I already said my favorite scenes back when in the beginning. 
Uh, sorry, what did you say was your favorite scene? The uh, half naked chick and, and uh, her coming back to uh, the way she came back to life at the end. Oh. oh, I thought you were saying the ending credits were your favorite scene. <laughs> How about you, Tammy? Oh, I guess my favorite scene would probably be towards the end, you know, when she comes back, that is kind of neat, you know. Um, favorite character? Um, I guess actually for me, because she is really creepy. Her laugh and everything else, she's, she's creepy. So... <laughs> I guess I would go with her for my favorite character. Okay, uh, Boris, what about you? Uh, I would also say that Tobia is my favorite character because uh, uh, from what I, even though we didn't really see much of her, and this movie itself doesn't really make her as interesting as the general concept of her is, but I did uh, read a bit about her online, and as we have already agreed, uh, the concept of her is quite interesting, and she is probably portrayed better in other movies, so... Yeah, I would say she is my favorite character. And favorite scene, well, yeah, her re uh, regeneration, when we saw it on screen, that was cool. But I also actually liked the scene with her in the hospital, which was where we actually uh, uh, got to see her properly and we got some insight into her personality. So, yeah, I guess that would be my favorite scene. Okay. Um, as far as myself goes, my favorite character, I think it flips between Tomei and the, the detective, to be honest. Who? <laughs> um, interesting. Because the detective did tell an interesting tale. He, he did. It's not. Uh, it's not that yeah, there wasn't any story building. The way he described things was kind of offhanded, and for some reason, I, I guess I get a kick a, a, out of how creepy he is towards the hypnotherapist girl. Um, huh. The other, uh, and I somewhat like the hip, uh, hypnotherapist lady. Um, even the, uh, though she she tried to make it a point a point that it's called hypnotherapy, you know. Um, that was stupid. <laughs> I would I would have said she was a favorite character, but that line was just too stupid. Well, I gotta get all technical about it. It's not technical. It's the same fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> There's words There's to describe line. things, and she she should have just said, "Oh yeah, that's exactly it." Instead of getting all hypothetical and being being like, "Oh, it's it's hypnotherapy," you know. Um, but <laughs> um, yeah. Um, those and my favorite scenes are anything with the decapitating bo a moving body. Um, and maybe see, uh, 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 when it comes to the scenery of, uh, of the crimes, um, that aspect of uh, 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 things. And for some reason, I, I didn't mind the part where, uh, where, uh, where the boy was like feeding the little head, uh, uh, which I think, I think was what he was feeding. He was feeding a de decapitated head. Oh, possibly. Yeah, it was something that Tommy regenerated from, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so she regenerated from a a a body piece of uh, the original Tommy, I think. 
and that's what he kept in the box. So, um, but in any case, did anyone else have anything else to add? I don't think so. What about the rest of you? I mean, not I, time. Go ahead, Tammy. Okay. Uh, well, uh, okay. Uh, well, uh, in any case, uh, hopefully you enjoyed our discussion on this film. I knew it was probably not going to last long, uh, but um, <laughs> I'm glad that I actually got to see the first out of this franchise because I've had at least the first five films sitting in my collection, gaining dust. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, I'm glad I had an, an opportunity to watch it and finally see it um and i'm actually kind of glad that tammy actually enjoys it a little bit so that maybe we can check out uh, check out even further um things in this uh, uh obviously it has somewhat of a following since there's nine films in it now <laughs> uh, yeah so i'm curious to see what some of the others are and um i am slowly but surely updating my, myself with some of the rest of the, uh, 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 them that I do not have. So um, I believe I have three, uh, 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 two of the, uh, uh, them downloading right now. I have a third downloaded and then there's one more. But um, yeah, um, other than that, like, share, and subscribe. Let us know down in the comments what you thought of the film. I mean, it is an odd wall out of the Japanese, the J-horror. That's what they uh, they refer to this as, J-horror. <laughs> um, so, um, like, share, and subscribe. And I guess we'll see you back next week with uh, Crow's cho uh, Choice, which is... Uh, Crow, why don't you tell uh, uh, the audience what, uh, what, uh, what, what your choice is? Stephen what, King Stone Salem's Law. One of uh, the best horror movies of all time, in my opinion. Definitely best vampire movie. I love vampires. Um, and this is my favorite. If you're going to go in expecting to see uh, flashy vampires fighting and, and fast and everything, then you'll be sorely disappointed. This is uh, this is the way vampires were, slow and methodical and uh, scary as hell. Um, there's still some three scenes in this movie that still uh, give me the willies, and, and horror movies don't scare me at all. Um, but yeah, this this, uh, this one has a special place in my heart in my nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. And it's been a while since I've seen it too, so it'll, it'll be a good re a revisit. So um, been a been a few years. Me neither. <laughs> so I think it was like three or four years ago I saw it. I watched on Halloween. Okay. Well, uh, like, share, and subscribe, ladies and gentlemen, once again. And uh, we'll see you back next week uh, for Salem's Lot. Uh, everyone say good night. Good night. Good night, 